their some new improvements uh, on their ways of navigating control and safety. It's me. Yeah, I know we did update it after <laughs> that's, that's we trying installed to it. Out. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna stick with that for okay. right now. Yeah, and it's wired into just so all it does is, is just ignition cut to the coil power. Mm. Uh, check this so they will be used for individual uh, under trim. Yeah, and that's it. So right, it might be soon. So this is another thing. We block the test feature if you don't have it. Then set it up. Okay. So force you figure. Yeah. You have something on the map because then you oh I test injectors oh blow up the engine because they didn't okay. came on. Okay. So now back to output. They all yeah. tested? Uh, all of them except for one. So you have to trace it down. Okay. We have seven out of eight injectors working. Okay. We're just still car. tracking down the primary for cylinder three. So it's calibrated. Yeah. Sweet. Safe. Okay. So now it's. Can we do that again. I get home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I filmed it. Yeah. You wanna film? Oh, good. I don't know if you'll Yeah. Man, this is uh, so, so before our update yeah. didn't have that option before? Yeah, it was actually, it was under here on inputs. You have to click here, but now we actually create a shortcut here. I mean, I thought they might click in like three times. So I thought they were going to go. I thought they were going to go. Yeah, boom. Yeah, boom. Yeah, boom. Yeah, boom. Yeah, boom.
see that this channel is interesting. Does the car have a name? Right now it doesn't. We just call it the MR2. Uh, we could call it the Level 100. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, like doesn't, he doesn't have a name. I like. Yeah. It's one so of our few cars that actually does. MR Level 100. I like that instead of two. Yeah, good power. Good power, really good power. I, I was excited. I'm gonna tell you that. Like, not every day we have a four cylinder here on the dyno, but we came from that. Like that's that's our daily deal in, on Brazil, right? And that's actually pretty cool to have that co that relationship with the import stuff that we usually hear if you take with say don't see as much like we everyone know we're so close to Proline across the street going to an yeah, HRA to Pro right Mod there. and stuff like that it's actually really cool four cylinder single turbo 10,000 plus bunch of boost right like mm -hmm. no less than 50 pounds at least or something like that making well well over a, a 1000 horses on a small motor like tiny yeah motor. i know you guys are normally used to you know <laughs> 3000 plus horsepower but you know for us these little four cylinders are what we love to do and well this thing is like 1100 horses but it has what five to six times a smaller size right could be interested in like a regular v8 so that's pretty impressive yeah it's only two liters yes to achieve, to, how to many achieve that power leaders you guys run so what are you guys going to be doing with this what is the goal? Uh, our goal is to uh, put this thing in the sevens, in the quarter mile. Um, there's a lot of guys with this car in particular that they're kind of shooting for the record right now. These cars have grown in popularity a lot the last couple of years, especially that they've been able to put this Honda motor in this chassis. It kind of brought the, the vehicle, you know, back to life. And now people have a reason to build them and drag race them because they found a way to make them reliable and fast. And yeah, so there's you a know huge what? community what? just racing for the, the record, so. One thing that uh, this car reminds me, AMR2 was one of the very first vehicles that used fuel tech in the United States. I don't know if you know. I had no idea. Yeah, one of the very first ones. I'm not sure if it was the first one because it, it was some time ago. So interesting thing over there that it is the first one. You know, Anthony Fragola, a great fr friend mm -hmm. of ours that lives nearby. Yeah, he does, he does carbon fiber work. Yes, exactly. He does great carbon fiber work. He had, so help me that, it was what? Which ECU we put on that thing? 300, FT300. IFT 300, yeah. how many years ago? Uh, Eight, nine? 11 years ago. 11 years ago, MR2, I read MR2. Yeah. I was only 13 years old. It, not just, <laughs> <laughs> not just that. He had that thing turbo. Uh, he has a 600 now on the car, I believe, or a 550. And uh, he still had the OEM uh, engine. And not long ago, like, he pushed. Update him. Huh? Update him about that. Oh, what? About Anthony's? Yeah. Okay, what are you guys talking about? About how it, now he has a K in it? No, Anthony blew up the engine. No, I know that. He has a yes, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, because of him? Yeah, um, I've been Perfect. a bad influence on that's what I was going. Guy. I was going to go. Now he has a case here, just like yours. Yeah, we influenced him, man. Damn, that's good influence right there. Yeah, that's good influence yep. right there. Yeah, so we since we talk about the other. case series, come on, come on. Let's, let's talk a little bit about this thing. So it's a MR2 making yep. well over a thousand horses. Yeah, Toyota with MR2 with a Honda. A Honda K-Series engine. 
So you guys did an amazing job and you guys did everything on the shop, right? Yeah, we did it all at our shop in Florida and Dang. we completely redid everything on the car. The only thing that's the same is the sequential from the previous setup. We have a uh, engine built by JBR, you know, aluminum rod. It's basically kind of kind of like your guys' setup, but just four cylinder. It's much smaller, you know, fully built head. We got big cams in there. Yeah, I can see how big cams. This thing is like until three, four thousand. It's like ta 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 ta. Yeah, it doesn't. When it gets it doesn't there, like, yeah! it doesn't like, like to run it down likes low. To Yeah, it likes to so rev. It, it just likes to be this singing up high. But yeah, we did cool. all the fab work in house, and you know, guy, my boy Wyatt over here wired it up. Did a killer job on that. Yeah, he did a killer job on the wiring. It looks really good. Yeah, the wiring on the motor seems to be really clean and easy to reach. If you guys need to do some kind of maintenance or something. Yeah, did it all in house because it used to be twin piping. turbos. Oh, it used to be then, twins. Yeah, it used to have twin 3582Rs that were just you know some knockoff Chinese turbos, mm -hmm. and then we went really fast with those, and then. Uh, we decided it was time to go a little more legit, so we just went to a big single, something we can uh, rely on a little more at those high boost levels. Yes. And we added all of our necessary sensors, because before the only sensor this car had was an air fuel gauge, and that was it. So now, now we have everything working properly. I see you guys have electronic gate? All the data. Yep, we have the electronic gate from TurboSmart down there as well. That's the first time we've messed with the electric gate on any of our vehicles, and Especially with your guys' software, Man, you guys that gonna, setup was super, you guys gonna like it. Yeah. super easy, and it held the boost amazing. Right where we set it to, perfect line. It was uh, awesome. You're gonna so. see how easy it's gonna be your life. Not worrying about CO2 and open the bottle. Yeah, that was our original full. plan was to do a CO2, and I was like, man, that's Man. a lot of work. And then, like, oh, is the plumbing right? You have to have like a pressure sensor for the bottle, Ooh, make sure everything's yeah. good. Man, so that much we just easier. plug it in, tell it what you want, and send it. It was done. It worked Damn. perfectly. So. Yeah, just like some wiring and. I see you guys did though all the way. You didn't even even doing the the water, the water to the gate. Yep, we yeah, we have the water lines cool. going to the gate yeah, there. That's just integrated water. into Perfect. the water box for the intercooler. Man, this this is this is like we call it back in Brazil roots. Like these things for real. Yeah, like kind of like grassroots. Yeah. yeah, this thing is like this is for real. On the import side, really cool stuff. EGT single turbo big power sequential shifting. Yep. <laughs> So, what is the big big race, the next one that you guys are gonna go to? Uh, I really don't have anything planned. Right now we're just racing ourselves. Okay. So we're just trying to better ourselves, see what, how we can get faster, so then when we do go show up to those bigger events, we actually you know, have something worth putting up a fight with. You know, we're not just going out there not knowing what we're doing, we're trying to learn before we show up to the bigger races and make it look like we know what we're doing. Cool but stuff. if everything goes good, we might be bringing it out to like FL2K. Oh, perfect. Or something like that. Perfect, so. perfect. Man, I'm I'm glad you guys show up. It was lots of fun for me at least. I I, I bet like you, had fun you guys. In there. <laughs> I bet you guys had some fun. Like, thank you for trusting us on, on doing this whole deal. Yeah, of course. And man, I can't wait. I know that you guys do a bunch of cool stuff at the shop. I can't wait to bring some more stuff. Yeah. I don't same. know what I don't know what else you guys are gonna bring. I mean, it's gonna be something completely we, we, different. We got, I bet. Same, we got the same stuff. We got the same setup in a minivan, so we might bring it back <laughs> soon. <laughs> so a minivan. K series single turbo, mm -hmm. same deal. Same deal. It's actually wow. a bigger turbo than that. Oh, nice, nice. Size wise, man. Size matters. <laughs> I can't wait. That's gonna be cool. Well, good luck for you guys at the track. If you guys need anything, you, you guys know. Always can count on us. And thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, we appreciate the help, and you guys have been, you know, super awesome to us, helping us with everything we need. And we definitely learned a lot from Anderson today too, getting familiar with the software yes. and everything. So it was a huge help coming down here for sure so we're definitely excited to come back and do it again good deal buddy thank you see you later thank you man